Oz, what it really means. This appears to be a message to expose the banking cartel in America, and to let the people know that they have the power to liquidate them, and get back to Kansas, the real land and republic. The Wizard of Oz, written by L. Frank Baum, is not just a mere story. What is Oz a symbol for? Ounces. What is measured in ounces? Gold. What is the yellow brick road? Bricks or ingot bars of gold. The character known as the straw man represents that fictitious, all caps, legal fiction, a person the federal US government created with the same spelling as your birth name. Remember what the straw man wanted from the Wizard of Oz? A brain? No juristic person, legal fiction, paper corporation has a brain because he or she has no breath of life. What did the straw man get in place of a brain? A certificate, a birth certificate for a new legal creation. He was proud of his new legal status, and all the other legalisms he was granted. Now he becomes the epitome of the brainless sack of straw who was given a certificate in place of a grain of common sense. Now, what about the Tin Man? Does taxpayer identification number, T-I-N, bring anything to mind? The poor Tin Man just stood there, mindlessly doing his work until his body, literally seized up and stopped functioning. He worked himself to death, because he had no heart or soul. He's the heartless and emotionless creature, robotically carrying out his daily task as though he were already dead. He's the ox pulling the plow and the mule toiling under the yoke. These days, his taskmasters just oil him nightly with beer, and place him in front of a hypnotic television, until his very existence no longer has any meaning or value. His masters keep him cold on the outside, and heartless on the inside, in order to control any emotion or feeling that might arise. The cowardly lion was always too frightened to stand up for himself. Of course, he was a bully and a big mouth when it came to picking on those smaller than him. Have you ever noticed how bullies are really the biggest cowards? They act as though they have great courage but, in reality, have none at all. They roar, but with no teeth of authority to back them up. When push came to shove, the cowardly lion always buckled, and whimpered when anyone of any size or stature challenged him. He wanted courage from the Grand Wizard, so he was awarded a medal of official recognition. Now, although remaining a coward, his official status allowed him to be a bully, but with officially recognized authority, and not at all unlike the attorneys, who hide behind the courts. What about the trip through the field of poppies? Did you notice how this had no narcotic effect on the straw man who had no brain, or the tin man with no heart or soul? They weren't real people, so drugs could not influence them. The Wizard of Oz was written at the turn of the century, so how could the author have known America was going to be drugged? The Crown has been playing the drug cartel game for centuries. Just look up the history of Hong Kong and the Opium Wars. The Crown already had valuable experience conquering all of China with drugs, so why not the rest of the world? What was the Emerald City? The Federal Reserve System. Who finally exposed Wizard for what he really was. Toto, the cute and somewhat annoying little dog. Toto means in total, or all together in Latin. What was it that the witch wanted after she alleged that the little dog had bitten her? Toto. Or everything. Notice how Toto was not scared of the great wizard's theatrics, yet he was so small in size, compared to the wizard, that no one seemed to notice him. The smoke, flames and holographic images of Oz were designed to frighten people into doing as the great wizard commanded. But Toto simply padded over, started barking until others paid attention to him and came to see what the barking was about. Who was behind the curtain? 
just an ordinary person controlling the levers that created the illusion of the great wizard's power and authority. When Toto pulled back the curtain and completely exposed him, the charade was at an end. The veil hiding the corporate legal fiction and its false courts was removed. The wizard's game was up, and what was he after all? A con man, a fraud. We can see, in this tale, just how loud the bark from a little dog, can be. Most of us remain silent and wait to be given whatever food and recognition, if any by our legal masters. Let us not forget those flying monkeys, what perfect mythical creatures to represent the Bar Association attorneys, who attack and control the little people for the great crown wizard, the powerful and grand bankers of Oz. How, finally, was the evil which destroyed? Pure, clean water? Liquidation. How did Dorothy finally get home? She simply clicked her heels. She always had the power, and so do we. What would it take to expose the wizard for what he is? We each need only a brain, a heart and soul, and courage. Then, and perhaps of the greatest importance, we need to learn how to work together. Only by working together, can we have the freedom, that was given to us all, under the law of God. <laughs>